Hey, what's going on you guys? It's the Flying Dutchman, and I am back with some Gods of Olympus gameplay, actually. So, as you can see, I'm definitely not on my my other base right now. This is actually my main base. A few episodes ago, I asked if people wanted to see it, and a few of you guys said that you did. So, we're just going to be doing one episode on this, just to show it off. Yeah, show it off. <laughs> and, um, you are also going to be trying out this Golden God Challenge, but we'll do an attack or two first, so that you guys can see what I'm working with. So, this is my base. We have the Hades Environment Boost, because I just think it's really cool, you know, having all the skeletons reanimate. I think it's pretty sick. Hades is one of my favorite of the of the Greek gods. And, you know, we got a few Spartan Academies. We have the Hercules hero. He's actually a really high level. I can upgrade him a bit more, but... It's gonna cost a lot, so we're gonna need the event for that. So, we only have a few monuments. I might get another one soon. We have this Poseidon one here. I do kind of like that. I might also look to get this, uh, this Zeus one, because that one's pretty sweet also. Actually, the Herald one's pretty good. All the monuments are actually pretty solid. Not really the Apollo one, but not much I can do about that. So looking at the gods, we actually have Poseidon, Ares, Athena, Zeus, Hera, Artemis, and Hades. We actually have seven of the ten that you can get. Uh, who the heck was I upgrade? Oh, Ares, him. Let's go ahead. We'll, we'll upgrade this a bit. That's kind of what we're doing. We're just kind of upgrading the gods because I need to wait till level 80 before I can get another one. So real quick, I'm going to call two attacks in my chat. Okay, so we just called two solo attacks here. So we're going to go ahead. We're just going to do easy. I don't really win on normal or hard, especially not with any help. And let's see what kind of a base we're working with here. Um... I'm trying to see if he has the Athena monument, which it doesn't look like they do. I'm going to put my iPad down real quick. So the way we're going to be attacking, we're going to be using first Athena, drop Athena. We're going to use the second ability because she can just take damage. Drop all these dudes in here. Oh, there's a gym Medusa tower. That's unfortunate. We're going to use this inspiration ability with the Kraken because that just makes it do a ton of damage. We're also going to slow down the troops here. See what we can do. Keep on using this, like, Aegis ability, I think it's called. We actually have the Patron God on Artemis, because that's pretty solid. We're going to drop Hera in here, just to get rid of all of that. Then we're going to target this, uh, this Spartan Academy here. Keep on, uh, keep on going through this base of it. We're gonna kinda back all the gods out just to regroup to deal with the hero. Here he is. We've got three of the temples down right now. We've also just taken down Hercules. I kinda had the screen zoomed out a bit because these bases are bigger and I really like to see what's going on. We're gonna go ahead and pop this Hawkstorm ability. Zeus has gone down, unfortunately. We're gonna go ahead and actually drop Hades in here, use Cerberus, summon a few skeletons here. I don't like using him as the patron god, just because I don't really feel like it's that necessary. Whereas Artemis is actually pretty solid. We're gonna use Zeus and just make sure that we take out the Spartan Academy, because those guys, if you let them build up, they do some decent damage. Okay, well Artemis, you gotta take that out pretty quick there, buddy. <laughs> We're doing all right, actually. Kind of mowing through this base. A lot of the times we don't even end up using Ares, but that's okay. I like the way that we have our attack strategy going. Works well for me, and I think now by the time we get Ares, this is gonna be a nice, easy win for us. Uh, quickly do that. They actually have two of these, these uh, Gorgon Towers. That's actually pretty strange. This is only a level 76. We'll go ahead and just throw Ares down here just to just to get a little bit of game playing with them. There's only this one temple left. We'll just uh, throw a wave down here. Bang! Alright, so that's going to be a victory real quick. Nice amount of loot there too. 
We got another attack here. We'll just hop into that real quick. See if we can get ourselves a second dub. I hope so. Uh, this guy has a lot of Spartan Academies. Wow. One, two, three, four, five of them. Are you serious? I don't really think that's that great an idea, but... You know, make the base how you want. I'm also quickly looking for Gorgon Towers because he is he doesn't actually have them. There's one right there in the middle. So I'm going to actually attack from this side so I can take that monument out. So again, just go with Athena, Zeus, these two ranged dudes slightly behind. You want to keep them alive because they can do a decent amount of damage there. So once we got all that through, we're going to use that Inspiration as well as that Kraken. That boosts the damage a ton. We're gonna hold off a bit on the slow time. I'm gonna see how long you can really wait for it. Maybe we can go ahead and slow it down now. That's fine. We don't want these Spartans overrunning us. But look how much that, that Kraken combo has kind of taken this base out. That's pretty ridiculous. We're gonna go ahead and drop Hera pretty close up because I don't want them getting swarmed by those, uh, those Spartans. Make sure to destroy this. We'll destroy this. We'll just kind of let them, you know, do their own thing here. You see Artemis back there just laying down some cover fire? That's why she's so good as your, uh, as your patron. I'm gonna actually put everybody onto this academy here. Oh my, wow, those guys just got melted. Oh my god goodness. We're gonna go ahead and drop, uh, drop Hades in here. Jeez. We're gonna also use this ability. We're gonna hold off on Ares as long as we can. Dude, look at all these Spartans, dude. This is ridiculous. We are actually, we're gonna actually drop Hades, uh, Ares in now because we, we need this extra damage. Those guys should be doing all right. We're gonna keep on spinning away here. Actually doing pretty solid now. Okay, I kind of got a bit of a scare there. It kind of looked like those those five Spartan academies, dude. Those are tough. If you let a decent amount of them build up, or if you just have a, a ton of them. They can, they can really do some damage. I think our Ares is going to die. Yep, there we go. But we are actually going to end up getting the win on that one. Whew. <laughs> that was way tougher than I thought. We only got four trophies for that, but that base was solid. Like, I can't even lie to you. Oh, we actually got attacked, too. <laughs> oh, we actually won on defense. This dude revenged me. <laughs> That's actually some massive plays. We actually have a revenge, but we're not going to do that right now because we're actually already like 10 minutes in, maybe 9. And I want to show off this event real quick where you get to use the uh, Poseidon and Hades on different bases. These challenges... Oh, excuse me, kind of catching up on my words here. These challenges kind of pop up every couple days and they're a great way of getting some pretty decent rewards. Let's go ahead. We're just going to use Hades here. That's all you have. This is probably going to be really easy because it's the first level of it. I haven't actually played this yet. I kind of wish we had the Rot ability, but I guess not. We're actually just going to see if we can go right for this. <laughs> see if this works. Look at this swarm of skeletons we got going on. So they kind of give these gods some really special boosts, like his abilities recharge fast, he's got a bunch of health, a bunch of strength, and we are actually going to multiply the rewards because that's a ton. Didn't mean to do that, there's going to be another brief cut there because I uh, <laughs> accidentally opened up the alliance chat. 
We could actually upgrade a few things right now, but we're going to hold off on it just to keep on uh, playing this event. We'll upgrade things at the end. So this time we have Poseidon and Artemis. Okay. We can definitely roll with this. A golden god Poseidon? Are you serious? Like he's just literally not going to take damage. He actually has taken a bit, but <laughs> this is really easy. So the events start off really easy, but they ramp up in difficulty pretty quickly. Uh, we're actually gonna, we'll do a bit of upgrading real quick. I know I just said I wouldn't, but how much is this? 4.6? We'll do that for now. We're upgrading the monuments, and then we'll probably max out the hero again. And then we'll probably look to get more monuments, and maybe throw them in, the, in some of these corners, like where I have these temples, just so I can start forming off the side there too. I like symmetry in my base, it, it makes my brain happy. <laughs> Let's just keep on rolling with- oh my goodness. Are there three temples? Huh. Wow. We're just gonna- we're gonna try the rot ability. Is this just gonna be broken? Yep. Just like I said. Okay, we'll drop Zeus in here to do his thing. There you go, you can do that. Why don't you put Hera down here and just kind of leave you to your own devices down here. We'll raise a few dudes just to help them out there. So this event, it actually seems a little more difficult to me than some of the other ones. We're just going to send you down there, we'll send you over here. We'll also send you over here, so we're just going to kind of let those two do their thing. Hera, we can throw this on here. We'll actually destroy this first and then see what you want to do. Let's go. We're just going to rot this building here. And that should be the end of that. Perfect. Alright. We're also building up a ton of gold right now, too. So we can keep on, uh, keep on upgrading here. I think that's all the abilities that I really want to get to 35. I'm going to try to get everything to 35. So now I'm probably going to start upgrading like the Kraken abilities because these cost a lot. And if I'm getting a decent amount of gold, you know, why not? Boom, perfect. We'll get the Kraken and then we'll do Inspiration because those are two really important parts of my attack strategy. We actually have the tidal wave. We'll probably be using that a decent bit. Oh, we actually got a pretty solid lineup here. We'll actually just keep that going. We'll put these two back here. We can do this. Hero we'll just throw up front. We're just gonna control all of them. Let's actually send a tidal wave down here. See how good that is. Very, all right. So it's probably just the best idea to just use the tidal waves, honestly, right? Because, like, look at this. It just destroys everything. We'll just send these guys over here. So right now, if you have Poseidon, it seems really easy. But Hades is a little weaker, so I feel like it's, it's a little more difficult. But just using the rod ability works pretty well. How long have we been going on? About 15 minutes? So I'm not going to show the whole event until I die, just because that could actually be a while. Maybe we'll try to use like one of each of these gods on these, but... Hmm. I don't actually know. Okay, let's just go down here. We can rot this. We'll throw her down. Use some inspiration. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's just throw them all down. Why not? All right, so we're just gonna speed our way into the middle here. We'll keep on reanimating some troops just to help out. We're gonna rot this middle part. Oh, actually, so we're actually just gonna go directly down here. Get, get a few more skeletons to help us out here. 
Uh, keep going with this guy. I just want to charm some of these dudes over to help us out. We're going to hold off on using the speed ability until we've taken this down. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll speed everybody over this way. Let's see, is there anybody to charm here? No. Okay, that was kind of a, an epic fail there. <laughs> This is actually a pretty decent combo though, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of works. We're just gonna keep on rotting, because this ability, if it's a high level, it actually works pretty darn well. I never really use it when I'm attacking, but it's not bad. Oh, was that it? <laughs> oh, I thought there was a fourth one up top. We must have, uh, we must have had some troops run over to that and just storm it. Alright, so I might actually end the video here. It's been going on for about 17 minutes, and I don't want to make these videos too, too long. So that was my main base. This is what it's looking like. We actually had some pretty decent attacks, and we showed off this new challenge. I'm going to keep playing this off-camera, and on my, my YouTube base, I'll probably play it off-camera too, just to build up a, uh, a decent amount of resources. We won't be doing the... Uh, we won't be gemming it for the resources, but... Maybe we will a few times, but I don't actually know how many. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know how many gems I have there and if I should be using them on the events. Am I just... Oh, dude, our, our leader came up. <laughs> oh, well, I know I said at the beginning I wasn't going to show the alliance, but it might be kind of hard to cut around that because I keep on just impulse pressing the, uh, you know, that open button. But, like I said, that is going to wrap this video up. We'll, uh, we'll continue doing some of these upgrades. We'll wrap it up in just a second. Oh, actually, I actually should have done this one, because this is my <laughs> epic fail. Okay, uh, we should be able to get the crack into 35. Beautiful. And then we'll start working on the inspiration. This one's only going to be able to go up twice, but then we'll play the event a bit more. So like I said, that is going to wrap the video up. If you want to see more Gods of Olympus gameplay, just let me know. I am going to be posting some Fall Guys soon. I'm going to be streaming with uh, with Daily and Lion this weekend. There might actually be a few weekend streams instead of just the one that I was talking about. But I just want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.